Hey, good evening, guys. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm good. Hi, great, great to hear that. Just having some troubles with the platform once again. Really? <laughs> yeah, this is driving me crazy. You know, I uh, I've been trying to to complete the one point eight part. Okay. And, and it, the five questions are wrong for me, and I don't know why. I think that I'm going. I'm doing it good, but. Mm. I have no. just to correct of that word of the uh, one point eight. I yeah. I almost I finished all the the first uh, section, but the one point eight is still to to run. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, this is driving me crazy. You know, I I suffer anxiety, so this <laughs> this I platform can... is is take, taking me to the limits. <laughs> okay, let's take a look. This is you're saying. All right, let me take a look. 1.8, correct? The knowledge check? Yep, knowledge check. Mm -hmm. Okay, hang on. Let me load it and then I'll share my screen and we can we can talk about which one is the one that you're having problems with. Mm -hmm. I'm having problem, problem with all of them, actually. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. We'll take a look. I, I think I'm not that dumb to make it all them wrong <laughs> well, i think i think the same i got problem in all of them okay, okay. Uh, so so we're not that dumb then no 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 you're not the only one you're not the only one right and when you're not the only one then you know it's the platform that's the problem mm -hmm. all right hang on let's take a look yeah it is the it is the platform because i tried like three times doing my best also but nothing happened Okay. For those who just came in, uh, we are reviewing uh, exercises 1.8 of the platform because some people have had a few problems. So let's take a look. The first one says, I'm the young, can, sorry, can everybody see my screen? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Okay. So the first one says, I'm the youngest in the family. The nice thing is I get a lot of attention. Okay. So the idea is we need to combine these into one single sentence. All right. In this case, it doesn't make sense to start with I'm the youngest. It, we here the logical would be the nice thing. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to help out. What, okay. What I like to do personally, okay, is I like to copy whatever I'm going to write. That way I don't have any problems when I'm writing it. So the nice thing, who can help me? What What did you put? What What would be your answer? What would be the comment? My answer, my answer was the nice thing of oh, being okay. the youngest in your family is that you get a lot of attention. I put there in my family and, and also I put also, I think in the family, both ways, in my family okay. and the family in their same, it was the same. I say in your family, it's, it, yeah. it basically is the same. <laughs> it's the same yeah. idea, right? It's the same yeah. idea. It's the same idea. Okay. The nice yeah, that's thing. That's the problem with the platform. <laughs> right, but 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 the idea because there here... are several several options. Right. When you're mm -hmm. explaining or when you're giving a reason, is you do not use the word of. When you're explaining something, you need to use the word about. I think maybe that was the mistake. Okay. I... The nice thing about, okay, oh. about being, and then the rest of your answer should be correct. Uh, you said about being, and I want to make sure we have the right, being the youngest, uh, and I don't remember what you guys said after that. Did you say in the family, on the family, at the family? In the family. I... In the family, okay, the youngest, about being the youngest in the family. And then what, what was the, the end, the compliment? I will say is that you, you get a lot of attention. Okay. Is? You get a lot of attention. Mm -hmm. Okay. Everybody, that's what you put? Anybody else? No, I, uh -huh. Yes, Eric? I, I wrote in your family. But I'm going to change it in, in the family. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm don't forget the period. Teacher. Okay, so what I'm doing is I, yeah, I wrote the period at the end. Okay, so what I did is I'm I'm uh, uh, I, I'm listening to you guys, but in reality, all I'm doing is taking the information from here and putting it here in the family, and is what I put here. Okay, in the family. This is wrong for me. I take the information from here is I get a lot of attention, okay? I take this part, okay? And I copy it and put the same thing at the end here. I don't, because it's, I'm just combining the sentences. I don't have to create new sentences, okay? Mm -hmm. So all I do is put that with, all right? And let's take a look. Submit, let me see. And it's correct. So one more so time. What Let's you take a look. To copy. What I what I do what I do is I copy it because this avoids small mistakes. At least the mistakes for spelling or the mistakes for spacing or the mistake for the apostrophe. This is one. You can write okay. it. You can write it. But many times when you feel frustrated is because it's a, a, a period mistake. It's it's a you know a, a punctuation or a capital letter. Okay. Let's try the next mm -hmm. one. Let's let's try the next one. Uh, uh, teacher, teacher, excuse me. Can, can you can I see the the whole answer? Yes. The yes. Uh -huh. No, no. I'm gonna put it into the chat. Just a uh, uh, but here. Give me just one second, because in here you can't see it very well. Um, let me see. I don't think I can put it in the chat at the moment. Give me a second. Or maybe yes, maybe I can. Okay. This is what you should have put in. Can, did everybody get that in the chat? Did you see it? No, wait, not yet. Yes. Let me see. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. All right. I want to make sure before we go on to number two. The nice thing about being, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the youngest in the family is that. Okay. So now that we got the idea, of what we need to do. Let's try number two. Let's see, I have a younger sister. The trouble is she always wants to borrow my clothes, okay? So in this one, the same idea, we'll begin with the trouble, okay? What are we gonna put? So I'll, I'll help you out, I'll help you start it, and you guys tell me how should we continue it. So let's start with the trouble. I think it's the trouble of having a younger sister. No, because I did it and it was wrong. Also. Okay, so the word of, so we know of is not correct. What other word can we use instead of on? on? Maybe about. about. Or with? Trouble of, okay. the, trou about. the trouble of, of having. I think okay. I, heard, I heard someone say it. Someone said with, I, I, I didn't hear who, but I, I heard someone said okay. the trouble with. with. Okay. Yeah, I put it. I put it with, but it was also um, incorrect. And maybe I think it's because I didn't copy on and copy paste. I don't know. <laughs> Let's try. I Let's... just did it. I just did it, and it was it was okay. It was ah, right. Ah, okay. So yeah. it yeah. So maybe the only the only mistake was you were using the incorrect word, and it should have been with. Okay. Yeah. For, yeah. Okay. So what is after with? Okay. The trouble with. With what? Having a having younger, a younger sister. sister. Okay, with having. And of course, my, like I said, you can write it, but for me, I have found that I avoid mistakes and I avoid problems if I copy what I want to write and I paste it, okay? Okay, have the problem with having a younger sister, okay, what am I gonna put? Only the ending, you see? All of this, this is the problem, right? So the trouble with having a younger sister is this. So I take this, I copy it to make sure I don't have any mistakes, okay? And I put it in there, okay? Now, we should have here, um, I'm gonna check this one, but you should be able to have here where it says is 
uh, uh, that exactly exactly is that okay is the word that because that is what joins those sentences okay you see, all right let me see what i what i made okay i i got it correct teacher that is without that is okay. she is always is she always went to borrow my clothes okay let's try with without that now you see i must have written something wrong because we can't wait can i have to squeeze it i, I think that and that when the yeah. period at the end Oh wait! Ah, wait. there is a period. There it is. Clovis and young, uh, younger. I don't know why I have two times younger sister, but uh huh. <laughs> because I only copied exactly up to close. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was. Yeah, the trouble with having and let's see. Yeah. <laughs> You, you don't have with, the with trouble had, with having a younger sister. I don't know. Yeah, oh, maybe. maybe. No, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You're missing a younger sister. Mm -hmm. And I could, and I remember I copied this and I pasted, but it went, this must have been the part that went to the end. <laughs> I don't, but I don't know why when I pasted it in the other one. With having a younger sister. A younger sister. Mm -hmm. Is that is she sister? Yep. Okay. There we go. Ah, that's yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. Only copy and paste <laughs> in it, but yeah, even sometimes even that. Imagine I didn't. If I hadn't gone back and if you guys hadn't gone back and checked that it pay, I pasted it into the incorrect location. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, sometimes it's just little things like this. Okay. Now, what we can do is for the other ones, numbers three, four, uh, and five, we're going to uh, we're going to leave right now, and that way you can try to do. Now that you have a better example or better ideas, you can try to do. And tomorrow, if you still have problems, then we will answer the others, the additional ones, okay? Very nice. Right now, at least, maybe now with looking at these examples, it, you sh maybe it can help you a little bit better to understand what was the mistake that you were doing. Yeah. I'm still thinking that the platform is, isn't good enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're limited. <laughs> it, should, it should be done. Uh, yeah, it should, it should be done thinking of that there are several answers, so it's okay. Okay. I know that's not up to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So that was I our- I just have some troubles with my anxiety and that's it. <laughs> that's it, okay. All right, so that's great because that way, that, that shows me that you guys are working on the platform and you're advancing and you're making sure that you're understanding the noun clauses and the information that we're learning. Uh, in the previous ones. Today, uh, we're going to be taking a look at, and we're going to be looking at uh, compound family terms, okay? Now, first off, this is maybe not new because most of us already know the family tree, right? We already know uh, the idea of mother, father, all of these, uh, sister, brother, but we also have additional family members. So, in this moment, we're just going to watch a, a short video about these different family members, and then we'll talk about them and what words we need to use in order to describe people that are added to our family. Okay? Ready to learn new words? Grab a pen, paper, and take notes. Go over the family tree. You will find some compound terms which use prefixes and some others use suffixes. Now that you know more family terms, talk in class about your family tree. Don't forget to share your information on our discussion box. Okay, so really fast, let's take a look here. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but give me give me one second. I'm going to take a picture, and I'm going to put it into the WhatsApp group to make sure that uh, if you need to, you can zoom it or 
I'm gonna make it in two parts. That way it's easier for you guys to see. Oh, wait, I think somebody's already putting it in there. Haha, <laughs> hey, again, all right. Perfect, beat me to it, excellent. Okay. Teacher, I'm sorry, can you add me to the WhatsApp chat, please? No, I can't, you have to add yourself. It's in the link. Um, okay, thanks. Uh, in the email that you receive, there should be one. Yeah, that I got it. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So here we have the family members. Um, if you have problems uh, seeing them, just look in the WhatsApp and make them bigger. Uh, here we have a couple of terms that we use. One of the main terms is the word great. Okay. Great is for any family member before the grandfather or the grandmother or any of this relationship is great. So the father of your grandfather is the great grandfather. The father of your great grandfather is two times your great great grandfather. So in English it's easy because all you have to do is add the word great for each generation. If you want to go back three generations then you say great 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 exactly and that's and that's it. That's the easy way to, to remember it. And it's the same for all relationships. It's not only for grandmother and grandfather. It can be aunt, uncle, a cousin, whatever you want. But all you do is go great and then keep going back. Is that part okay? Okay. The, yes. next, the next part is uh, one term that is very common when we talk about extended family is the apostrophe S, okay? It doesn't matter here, they use it as cousins, but it can be anything. It can be uh, brothers, uh, it could be sisters, it could be whatever you want. All it means is that the relationship is because of them. So the cousin's wife, okay, it means that the wife belongs to the cousin. Okay, or the cousin's husband, the same thing. It's not a sexist thing. It just represents who is being the relationship with. Remember, cousin is for both male and female in English. It's not, cousin does not have a gender, does not have a for boy or girl. So it could mean a man or it could mean a woman. Okay, so anytime you have, this can be, you know, maybe your brother it has a girlfriend ah, and you're talking about her. Simple. My brother's, apostrophe S, my brother's girlfriend. All right. The apostrophe S, is that okay? Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. All right. Great. Now, the next one is the one that really makes it easy compared to Spanish. Because in Spanish, it's so difficult to know all of the names and relationships. In English, you only need the ending, the suffix. And the suffix we're talking about, you can see right here, it is in-law, in-law. In That's right. So in -law. this in-law means the relationship by marriage. So your sister-in-law means your sister, but because of the marriage, okay? So your mother-in-law means the mother, not your mother, but the mother of your spouse, of your husband or your wife. Right? The same for sister-in-law. It doesn't mean it's your sister. It's your, the sister of your husband or your wife. So any relationship that is not your family, any relationship that is because of your husband or your wife, only you need to put the same, the same family and then put in-law. Grandmother-in-law. Daughter-in-law. Sister-in-law. Whatever, whatever relationship it is, if it's a brother, then it's the same for you. Only the difference is in-law. That in-law is going to represent that is the relationship of the brother, but because of marriage. Is the relationship of the mother, but because of marriage. Is that okay for in-law? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't know. Are there any family members? that you don't remember or relationships that you're, you're not clear of. Um, I know it's a little small, but we have words, for example, like nephew and niece and, you know, aunts and uncles. I just want to make sure before we continue. I think that they, teacher, I think that they miss the uh, stepfather and stepbrother. I will say that. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here there are no steps. The adoption, filials. Uh -huh. yeah, the, the adoptions, exactly. Uh -huh. <laughs> 
Yes. Here okay. is. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Those are the only ones that they're missing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. The person who made the 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 or, or maybe, didn't, didn't ever think yeah. in adopt. <laughs> or yeah, they didn't include it. They just didn't think of uh, the families that you know <laughs> extended yeah. families. Okay. Yeah. All right. So because that is the one point uh, that is the objective one point nine, um, which is this video. Um, you can always take a look in the WhatsApp or here. This one is pretty easy. The exercise of 1.11 is just, it's really about you listening. You're going to listen and you have mm -hmm. to choose your answers. I think these are easier because you can't have a mistake for spelling or for punctuation or something. It's here, if you, if you have the wrong answer, it's because really, really, you didn't get the right answer. It's not, <laughs> it's not for, you know, for putting in the wrong letter or something like this. Okay. Okay. So that one you're going to have to do. And we're going to pause right there because we don't want to do the next exercise. What we want to do is we want to combine uh, what we have been seeing so far this week, uh, which has been the ideas of the noun clauses. Um, remember noun clauses one more time are the things that we add at, at the end uh, when we're describing something. Okay. Hi. The words like is that or when you give your opinion, okay? So mm -hmm. the okay. Um, I don't know. Do any of you have brothers or sisters? Yeah, I have siblings. Who has? Who said that? Who says I have siblings? Eric. Eric. Okay. Me, Eric. Eric. All right. Eric. Great. You have siblings. All right. So Eric, what you know? What do you think is a great thing about having siblings? What's good about having siblings? <sighs> One of the good things of having siblings is that shame is not always on you. <laughs> you can say that your brother did something and you can blame them, you can fight them, and, and besides, uh, you know, it gives you another perspective of life, having, having siblings. All right. Because you have to learn how to share time, things, clothes, shoes, everything. And I think that the other good thing of half siblings is that they support you when, when you have troubles, for sure. Okay, all right, excellent. And that's what we wanna do in our groups. We wanna use different family members and we want to talk about what about them. And how do we talk about them? You know, uh, the good things about my cousins are that, if you want to be specific, if you want to be in general, is, okay? Uh, the nice thing about having brothers is, okay? And then whatever, like in the case that Eric mentioned, okay? Uh, the nice thing about having siblings is, you always can blame someone else. <laughs> it's never your responsibility. Yeah. You break the dishes. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It's not me. I don't know. <laughs> ask Felipe. Ask Pedro. <laughs> I don't know. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. That's one of that's them. That's often when you have siblings. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what we want to do. You never broke anything. You never broke anything. We're going to get into our groups. We want to combine what we have been seeing the last three days. Family, relationships, and noun clauses with descriptions. Okay? So we can talk about good things, about bad things. You can talk about specific. You can talk about different people. But the idea is to combine these into giving descriptions. Now, just to help remind you, it doesn't only have to be uh, the good thing, right? Maybe you can talk about the you can talk about negative things. Eric can say the problem. The problem with having uh, siblings is the same thing. Is that you never have private space, or you never have uh, you know a, a, a moment or a room to yourself. Whatever it is, I don't know. Whatever yeah, situation you, you always have to share your bed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or that you always have to share your toys. Yes, Roxana. Hello, good evening. Um, when we say siblings, it's like uh, for brothers sister and sisters. Bro and sisters. Brothers is when you have just male brothers. Sisters, females, and siblings includes brothers and sisters. The both. Correct. Okay. Yeah, both of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. But we can say if we have like two brothers and two sisters, we can say I have two brothers and two sisters or 
and have siblings. Or siblings, or siblings. is like you don't want to give too much information. Correct. You would say no, I have uh -huh. four siblings. Four siblings. Four siblings. Four, mm -hmm. I have four siblings. That is brothers, boys, and, and girls. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. It's the same idea when you use the word parents. You understand that it's for a man and a woman, but in today's society, uh, sometimes you have two men, sometimes you have two women. So sometimes it's a little delicate and the people say, my parents. And they are referring to maybe they have two dads or maybe they are referring to they have two mothers because yeah. in, in, in El Salvador it's illegal, but in other countries it's perfectly normal to have this. So this is the inclusive vocabulary this is the idea. That's why they use these. So siblings, you can use it like that. Exactly, exactly. Especially when you don't want to be like specific. When you don't want to be specific, um, <clears throat> or and or simply you just you have so many that you don't you don't want to say anybody. I have, for example, my wife. My wife has six siblings, and really, really, my wife has six siblings. So you know, uh, she has two older brothers, one younger brother, I have seven, three no siblings. Yeah. So you know that's why I say siblings better because it's just easier. I have to say I have two, two sisters and five brothers. So with yeah. siblings, you cover them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oscar, you had a question or okay. you have a comment? Okay. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. I have a question, teacher. Okay. Uh, oh. Uh -huh. This evening, uh, I'm making reference to to peers, uh, to for example, two sisters, two brothers. I can I can say sibling but what about if i uh, if i have one brother and two sisters i have three siblings it's, it's the same uh, the it's, same it's the same it's the same okay mm -hmm. okay thank you it doesn't matter the number the thing okay, is right. to to for you to say siblings is to have a boy and girl okay. that's it that's mm -hmm. it's you it's the, you're welcome elias it's the same the same um idea when you say spouse when mm, you yeah. When you, this is part of the inclusive vocabulary for our modern society is, uh, as well, is when you say, I have uh, a spouse. This can mean if you are a man, it could be a woman. If it, okay. it could be, if it's a woman, it could be a man. But because of today's modern society, the spouse can also refer to the same sex. So it's, it's inclusive vocabulary. What is that? <laughs> The same, oh, the same, the same as, as, as siblings, but in this case, it's for the husband or yeah. the wife or the wife. And you don't want to say the sex, you say a spouse. Okay. Okay. They also and say my partner, right? How do you spell right? that word? It's in the, it's in the <laughs> it's chat, It's the first Roxana. time for me. Sorry? It's, it's in the chat, Roxana. It's in the chat. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yes. And in today, you're going to see probably more and more um, this type of vocabulary. Remember, especially if you work with foreigners, if you work with tourists, if you work with these, for them, it's, it's very common. Maybe they probably have friends and family that are, are lesbian, gays, uh, transvestite, bisexual, something like this, okay? So they, they try to say uh, all of these other words. Mm -hmm. Sorry, did I not put it into the chat? Maybe I put it to one person. I thought I had wrote yeah, it. Someone else did it. Yeah, I'm just, I'm looking right now and I think somebody wrote to me and then that's why it's not in the general chat. But Carolina put Your it cover. in. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Is the right spelling, teacher? That is Spouse? right. Spouse. Okay. Mm -hmm. Spouse. 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 Now I see it. <laughs> they also say my partner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The difference is that my partner is not legal. So, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. so my partner it's can a legal be, term, is, mm -hmm. uh -huh, the, the partner can, no, can be, for example, that is you are a boyfriend or girlfriend, but a spouse yeah. means that you have this formal relationship. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. I got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's more like for a, mm -hmm. talking between friends, they use that word. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 exactly. Like it, it's a... a Exactly. It's just more and more common. It's for informal different... English. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So I have a, a question, teacher. Sure, so, it is. 
partner is uh, make the word makes reference to, to a relationship. Correct. So to Correct. Okay. The partner is the relationship, and the spouse is the is that you are married, that you have a legal you know a legal contract. Mm -hmm. So when I when I say partner, for example, I cannot say he. I uh, if I want to say that he works in the same company where I work. I cannot say he is my partner in the company. You can, but it's not correct. Uh, I mean, it's it's not common. Normally, you would use he's okay. my he. You normally would use the correct word with he is my coworker because it's co for it's for work. It's not for okay. it's not a personal relationship. Okay. Now, okay. of partners, you. teacher. I'm sorry that I interrupt, but I think mm -hmm. that partners goes more with with the stuff with like societies exactly when they yeah. make when they make a society they are partners mm -hmm. because it goes more than just a simple relationship of work it goes with responsibilities okay yeah 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 and remember it's the, you don't have to to worry about it because really the context if, if you use partners it's still going to be correct it just meant you just have to make sure that you use it in the right context because if i say oh mm -hmm. um I am talking with somebody. I work in Tigo and I say, Oh, I'd like to present my partner. Uh, she is responsible for, you know, accounting. Never, never you're going to imagine is, is a relationship. You're going to imagine is a business relationship because of the context. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is just like in Spanish, it, you know, the context is everything. Even if the words you can use in different contexts and have a different meaning. So really the context is really what gives you the, the most uh, meaning for the vocabulary. So now that we understand what we're going to do, we're going to get with our partners, we're gonna get in our groups and we're gonna practice it. Remember, we wanna use noun clauses. We wanna describe the advantages, disadvantages, all of these things about with having uh, relationships or about having these people. Everybody's ready? Yeah. Yes. All right, yes. Let's right, let's do it. Claudia, Oscar, everything okay? Oscar, any questions? Okay, oh, I'm okay. Elias. Elias? Yeah. Are we the same three we used to be? Uh, we, we were yesterday? Mm, maybe not. Uh, well, can you, uh, can your you, name was strong. Can you like activate your camera, your, your video? So I can you? All right. All right. Let me see. Let yeah. Me check. So you are the one that welcome everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Hi, teacher. Hi. <laughs> Hi, teacher. I'm yes. Miriam. I'm back. I'm <laughs> I, saw, I saw Angela and I said, oh, okay, well, Angela. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I'm back. The thing is that I couldn't get in uh, this, the, the two classes, uh, before this, I was working, so I couldn't. No problem. Sorry. No, no, no <laughs> problem. Is maybe Medium will be able to to help you, and because I know it's a lot of information that we have seen, so maybe Medium yeah. can can help you if you are having a little bit of confusion. Me or or Miriam? 
Angela. Uh, yes, sorry, Angela. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I mixed up the names. Yes, you're right. You're right. Yes, yes. Okay. okay. It's, Thank you. It's nice. You're welcome. So. You're welcome. <laughs> She's giving me the welcome. It's good. <laughs> well, um, what can I say? Uh, this Monday and Tuesday we we talk about non classes. Mm -hmm. um, non classes. Classes. Uh -huh, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, not 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 only not only bad things, and you got reason because. I have some good reasons too that I want to share with you, and one of them is that my family is uh, my family is always there. For instance, uh, yesterday I got a, a problem with my phone; I, I couldn't connect well. But suddenly, my my little brother uh, he he told me, "Hey man, I'm going to I'm going to give you my phone. You can use it, uh, whatever you." want to do and it doesn't matter my family is there and my people are always are helping me out in, in anything I need and that is a good uh, thing because if someone can help me uh, well if someone of my family one of the members of my family can help me another one can and so on you know it, that is the the advantages of having uh, nine people living with me and also I can add to this that I have never been alone. <laughs> I, I had always, yeah, I have always a company with me, and they, I was with me. And you know, you feel like, um, like company, and you are never alone. <laughs> That's yeah, yeah. The, the, this is a good thing that you, you, you never, you never are alone with my yeah. siblings. My nephews, we are a very close family. Um, I don't know. Um, we, I, I don't know, for this pandemic, is it was very hard because we are very close and it was very hard not to see them because we, we live here in El Salvador. <laughs> I am like... I don't know. I don't have siblings in another country, and <laughs> and is and that's why we are very close. Because here in El Salvador, you know that you can meet with your family like every weekend, right? And for the pandemic, it was very hard not to see them. So right now we are. Uh, starting to come close after the pandemic. Well, it's not the end of the pandemic, like Trump said. So, yeah, I got married when I was 27. Oh, I didn't get married at that, that young. It's a nice mm -hmm. age to get married. Yeah. Because you're, you're that, like I, young, but you have like your your life like little. Yeah, I have all my ideas road. settled settled down. Settled down, yeah. <laughs> I had my wild, my wild time as well when I was younger, so mm -hmm. I'm I'm okay with that. Mm. And it is up, it is up, it isn't that bad as they say. <laughs> Being married is, can be good, can be a good thing. How you long know, have you been married? Relationship, Eric? Relationships are. Sorry. How long is there have someone you? Someone else here? Yes, just, a teacher. Oh, sorry, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> no, just, <laughs> I, just I, I, I was just just ten years. Ten years. Ten years. Yeah. Okay. Just, just checking out. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Marcella, you are you married? No, no. I, I was I was saying Eric that I think I am too young to get married. <laughs> How old are you? Twenty two. More or less. More or less. If you, <laughs> I, I turn about to leave her. No, no, not 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 <laughs> not this. But I think that I think it has to do with your expectations. If you still feel yeah. that you have things to accomplish, then don't get married. Yes. Yeah, it, I, yeah that, that's what we, we were discussing about. You don't need to be married to to gain your goal, to yes. make your dreams come true. Exactly. Yes, I, I, was, I was telling Eric that I, I, I see myself and, and I would like in the future to, to get married. But right now, I, I think I am just fine as I am. Um, and, and I have 
and I had enjoyed um, a relationship. So I, I think I, I am okay right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and you should. It's fine. You don't need. Yeah. You know, I. For me, I think it's mm -hmm. marriage is not is not the prize. The prize is to be happy, and if you're happy with yeah. your partner, that's fine. You don't need. You know, some people like marriage, and they have a dream. Like some people, <gasps> they dream of marrying, and they dream of creating yeah. this this life. Yeah. And, and that's okay. In small towns. That's okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not for everybody. Yeah, I, and I I have like good um like good examples of, of marriages I guess um, that's why I think that the idea is not like I like the idea like my parents have been married for um, 25 years um, and then my grandparents my grandparents also um, they they well they died um, together so together. yes so so I, I have and, and my uncles and, and my aunts they have good relationships so I I have like a good image of, of, of the marriage. Yeah, it's a huge it's a huge responsibility. So you have to think it over. Yeah. It's not something to take in a uh, <laughs> lightly. You you have to take yeah. it over. Uh -huh. yeah, you yeah, can yeah. take it lightly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll let you guys continue practicing. I'll check on <laughs> the other groups. <laughs> good. Thank okay, thank you, teacher. Remember to try to include the word that. Remember, that's the idea. Okay. That whatever the topic, like for example, marriage, exactly, you can continue, but include the grammar. So the good thing okay. about marriage is that, 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 that. Okay. Or ah, okay. know, the good thing about the relationships is that, whatever. Just try okay. to include the vocabulary. Okay. 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 Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. It's not here very well. There are interference. Hello. Hello. It's difficult to hear. No. It's oh no. I can hear you. Ah, okay. No, no, yeah. I put I put for Jose. I put that Jose because Jose is the when he tries to speak is it sounds ah. very difficult. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. But the two of you, no problem. You guys can practice and continue. Remember, uh, okay. remember the main objective is whatever is the subject, whatever is the topic is okay, but you need to include the grammar. So, uh, you know, uh, whatever you have uh, and then that or is that. So, I don't know if you're talking about movies or you're talking about marriage or you're talking about food, you're talking about family. If you're talking about a specific, your sister-in-law or your brother or your family, the important is include the two things. You want to try to include members of the family and you want to include noun clauses, which is the word with is that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Um, maybe Jose will come a little bit later. I think he, he's <laughs> maybe it's raining by his house. I understand in Santa Ana is raining very hard, so maybe maybe he lives there. Maybe if, but for the for now, the two of you continue practicing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Extended family. As uh -huh. I know, she has told me that uh, she has like twelve si uh, siblings. Twelve siblings. <gasps> <laughs> Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh my. <laughs> really? <laughs> I I think so. I mean, she told me that a long time ago, but I I I I think that I can. Uh -huh. I think that I believe her. <laughs> I trust her. Uh -huh. uh, on my father's side, uh, he, as I know, I, I mean, my my parents were divorced. So uh -huh. I didn't know a lot for my father, but uh -huh. I, I knew that he... Ah, yeah, but, but I don't know, teacher. Tell me. 
Sorry, but we were talking about that we I... have problems with the exercise 1.2. 1 1.2. Sorry, but I missed the first class. Okay. Oh. And, and I tried uh, today like an, an hour and I couldn't. Uh, I... Okay. Okay. Yes, this we saw this one in the in the first class. But if you missed it, is is going to be difficult. This is the the one with uh, gerunds and infinitives. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. All right. Um. Before. Okay. So first, what do you understand is the difference, or what what do you understand is the idea for gerunds and infinitives? Um, gerunds. Uh, the uh, after a gerund, you use the word with ing. And after the infinite, and after infinitive, you have to use two. Okay, perfect. All right, that that and, is. And uh, mm -hmm. sorry, and there there are some verbs that that you can use both gerunds and infinitive. Okay, all right, that's good. That's the idea. The difference is that the idea for gerunds and infinitives exactly what you said, but it's not the word. It's it's the word before that gerund. That is what determines it. So, for example, if you use the word uh, "I like," okay, "like" can be used with both forms. I, you can say "I like," for example, "I like to dance," or you can say "I like dancing." Mm -hmm. The same, the same thing. Um, let's try two exercises to make sure it's okay, and then the others you try to do. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, sure thing. Can you see my screen? Ah, uh, yes. Okay. All right. So this is the this is the exercise where you had difficulty, correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. Perfect. All right. Want to make sure. Okay. So here, what we need to do is we need to complete it with the correct ending. Okay. So here mm -hmm. we have Sam isn't happy when he has nothing to do. Gary, I know it really bothers him. So this is Sam. Or, or sorry, this is Ada speaking, and she makes this statement, and then this is Gary. So another way to say these two statements is Sam can't stand, okay? Here, for stand, uh, we know that it has to be a verb with ing, okay? So what is something that Sam doesn't like? We have it in here. What, what does it say? What doesn't Sam like? Having nothing to do. Okay, let me write exactly your answer. You said having nothing to do. Is that correct? That's what you said? Yes. Okay, let's check to see if your answer is correct. You see? <gasps> really, teacher? <laughs> <laughs> this is magic. <laughs> no, it's not magic. It's your answer. I don't, I didn't say the words. I didn't create them. I only help you understand the purpose but you are the one who created the answer and you are the one who made it correct. Okay, let's try number two. Okay, only number two and the others, then you have to do, all right? Okay. All right, Vic, I hardly ever go to school parties anymore. Okay, and June answers, me neither. They are not as much fun as they used to be. Okay, so what do Vic and June avoid? What do they- Going. Exactly, uh-huh. Going, going to school parties. Okay, I'm going to put your answer. Going to school parties. This is your answer. You see, I didn't say any words. Let's check your answer. Correct. You see? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But uh, I don't know, is Sandra, is Sandra with us? Mm, yes, is, Sandra is Basur. Yes, Sandra is there. Sa Sandra have problem with number three, right? Sandra. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sandra, what happened? What did you put? Tell me the answer and I tell you if it's correct or wrong. I put visiting her parents. Okay. You put on visiting. On the weekends. Mm -hmm. No S. With S. No. Visiting her no, no, no. No S. No S? Okay. Visiting her parents with S, but on the weekend. Yes.
visiting her parents on the weekend. Her mm -hmm. parent, her parent on the with, weekend. No, no, her parents mm -hmm. with S. Her parents with S, okay. only, only the word weekend does not have an S. Only okay. weekend. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Did you check? Check? Yes, but this never shared. It continues the meeting. And it's still run. Mm, hang on. Be, I try be, your, maybe some, I check here. Okay. Visiting her parent with S on the weekend without S. All right. Visiting her. Yes. Can you see what I'm writing? Yes. Okay. That's what you said, right? Only yes. the, the only thing that I changed was, or the only thing that I helped you with is to make sure that it's, you didn't put the S, right? Yes. Okay. So it's let, the same, you type it. Okay. That's what you put? Yes. Let me check. No, you did something wrong, Sandra. Look, the answer is correct. Something, okay, okay. it's something you typed that's wrong, not the answer. It's something you typed. Okay, okay, okay. No, it's okay. Ah, because it was really slow. <laughs> it was really slow. <laughs> That's it. That, there yeah, you okay. go. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. But sometimes I think because it's October, the platform is, 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 is tricky. Maybe, maybe. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. Maybe, thank uh, you. You're welcome. Okay, guys, it's amazing how fast the time is going, but we want to make sure that there are no questions and that it's clear for everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's clear. It is clear. Yes, it's clear. Okay. Okay, we're just checking to make sure that it's clear for everybody before we continue with our next story. Mm -hmm. See, we had fun. <laughs> okay, all right. Perfect, so. The time wasn't enough, teacher. No, it's, a, it's, it's amazing, I know, I know. Uh, and, we were talking with Lupita. And yeah, I didn't be. interrupted <laughs> in the most amazing Oh, uh, <laughs> always, always, right? In that moment that you're telling the story, I know. <laughs> I have to sing out. Yeah. I didn't have the chance to say. I didn't have to say the chance to say, Marcela. It was a good chat, a good conversation with her. Yeah, it was a good conversation. Yeah. yeah. It I'm, was a warm conversation, actually. Excellent. Yeah. I'm glad. That makes me happy. It makes me happy that you're feeling confident, that you're improving your fluency, that you're practicing, that you're not scared to speak. This is, this is the only way no, to improve. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> actually. Uh-huh. But, like, they but you don't, don't have me to. at all. It's like I don't have the... I'm not ashamed at all. <laughs> okay. You don't have to be scared. Nice Remember that we are we are all with you. We are all <laughs> learning here. Yes. And you have to be proud of you because you're learning a new language. So it's <laughs> gonna be your second language. Yes. <laughs> that was, I have that a third one. We're coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't have to. You just be normal, relaxed. Don't worry about it. Uh, remember this. It, it, all you are here for is to practice. You don't worry about the mistakes because the mistakes always happen. Even in Spanish, people make mistakes. I hear it every day. I hear many professionals. I hear many people with degrees, masters. Juela, ya viste lo que va And then, but, but. Like from San Miguel. 
But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, San Miguel. It's that Juela doesn't exist. Yeah. That's, right. that, it doesn't matter if you're from Santa Ana, San Salvador. It, it doesn't exist. The word. Or from it, Yeah. But it's not for the pronunciation because we understand the people. Okay. It's just a matter of getting to know the communications. And that's it. The, and the people, they, they don't worry. Okay. They don't worry about oh, if they sound like a, they have their degrees or they don't. They, they only care that they communicate. So the same thing in class, we are all learning. Everyone is here. Nobody's here to make fun. If your partner makes a mistake and you know the answer, it is your responsibility in a nice way to help your partner. That's the only way we improve is when people are nice and say, you know, I think this is the correct pronunciation or, you know, I think maybe this is the word that you want to use. Okay. This is the best way. Never in a way that is uh, aggressive or mean. We don't say, no, 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 no. That's wrong. That's wrong. No, no, no. Use this. No, no. Because maybe you are, you are correct. Maybe you are correct. But it doesn't sound good. And the person doesn't feel good if you attack and say, you are wrong. Is I think, I believe, try this word. And you will see that many, and even for you, you will improve and you will feel more comfortable practicing with your partners. Okay. Hey, teacher. All right. Before we continue, before it, it, we still have, uh, it's almost time for us to go. But before we go, before we wrap up, I want to check is everybody working in the platform? I know, I think Eric mentioned that he's still having difficulties in the platform. Is that right, Eric? You are not. Yeah, I'm right? still. Okay, Eric, did, remember, if I, I think Jonathan put into the WhatsApp group. I'm not sure if you're in there. Um, it, I'm going to get in in a minute, okay? Okay. Uh, when, as soon when, as the, the class finish, I'm going to get in. Yes, and there's Jonathan's number and uh, information in there. That way you can contact him. He's the one who's helping people with uh, problems for logging in or having to, okay. any, any issues. So he's the one who helps on the technical side. Uh, you said, I'm sorry, Rupert, me? Jason His, something? Uh, yes, you can say, you can say, you can go into a, a Jonathan Guzman, okay, mm -hmm. or Elena, when, when you look in the WhatsApp list, you're going to see uh, administrators, and you can contact okay. them. Okay, that's mm -hmm. it, that's it. Mm -hmm. Coach. Okay, I got it, teacher, thanks. Okay. Sure. Coach, I'm also yes. having issues. I'm okay. also having issues getting in the platform, but I asked uh, another person that is in the group, but she's in like... Uh, it's under us. Uh, we were we are advanced. She's like uh, mid. Uh, I don't know how do you say that. So it's like in, me, intermediate. Uh, it's in another course. Okay. She, she's a, yeah. She's a, she's the one who introduced me to this uh, program. Uh, okay. And uh, yeah, uh, but maybe she can help me. If not, I'll do what you say we should do. You know, like get in contact with the. The administrator, the Jonathan, he's the, the one who. Administrators, yeah, of the of the, the platform. WhatsApp group. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you can try to fix it, sometimes it's little mistakes or little errors. But if you are having a problem that you cannot access the platform for a day or for something, contact in the WhatsApp group to Jonathan. That's his job. His job is to help you to make sure you have access. Because if not, you are going to have a lot of work to do later. And <laughs> you don't want, believe me, you don't want to be the last week and having to do a lot. In a rush. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. so, coach, another question. Yes. The, the videos are, are being recorded and uh, uploaded to the YouTube uh, channel, right? That is correct, every day. Okay, uh, do you guys have any material other than the platform? We are, not we, can, like we are not allowed to, for YouTube's policy, share uh, others. That's why we can't share it in here, but I can share with you in the WhatsApp group. But I cannot share anything on the video that is uploaded for copyright infringements. Got it. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. Okay. All right, guys, Good. have a great night, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, teacher. Thanks for teaching Thanks. us. Thanks, Good guys. Night. Good 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 night.